FX has just unveiled the first official teaser for season 10 of American Horror Story, which is called Double Feature, and the teaser is packed with a bunch of hints to dissect, and with less than a month until the season premieres, trust me, there is a lot to discuss. But before I jump into my breakdown of the teaser, I wanted to take a moment to thank my channel members. You guys make these videos possible, and your support is greatly appreciated. Alright, so one of the major reveals of this teaser was the subtitles of the two parts of this season. Part 1 will be called Red Tide, while Part 2 will be called Death Valley. Let's first talk about everything the teaser let us know about Part 1, Red Tide. First off, let's talk about what the title means. Red Tide is a term that commonly refers to discoloration of the sea surface, commonly caused by microorganisms, sewage runoff, among other things. It can be caused by natural causes or be influenced by human activity, and red tides often have toxins that are harmful when exposed to marine life. Basically, where a red tide comes, dead fish could be washing up for up to two weeks afterwards. Okay, so with the subtitle of red tide and its literal meaning in mind, I think I have a small theory based on what we already know about the season so far. One of the most perplexing characters we've learned about is the chemist, who is being played by Angelica Ross in the Red Tide part of Double Feature, and I definitely have a hunch that this character will have a hand in the terror that is about to ensue in Provincetown. This is purely speculation, but I'm going to predict that the chemist is an actual scientist who is conducting experiments on the people of Provincetown. Well, with the name Red Tide in mind, perhaps she is slipping some chemical toxins into the sea, and either these chemicals are turning beachgoers into these siren-like sea monsters, or perhaps her, ex her experiments are disturbing or altering the sea life that is already below the surface. Could the chemist be responsible for these siren creatures coming ashore? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, but let's get back to the teaser. In the teaser, we get another look at these creatures who were first spotted frolicking around Provincetown back when Double Feature was filming there in about March this year. The teaser, though, shows us these creatures in action, and they seem to be at least semi-aquatic. Now, I don't know if these are sirens. Definitely, they are not a classic image of a siren, but a lot of people online are referring to them as such and they could very well end up being AHS's version of sirens. So for the sake of not overcomplicating things, I'm just going to call them sirens, but just know, I don't know what they are. One stray shot in the teaser shows us a siren skull next to a human skull, and it's been long theorized that the season will have something to do with body modification. So I wonder if the body modification will have something to do with humans becoming sirens, I don't know, I'm just curious as to where the body modification will play into the season, if it does. Based on the still that was released earlier, we know that they are able to walk on land, but I'm going to guess the sea is where these creatures originate. One shot of these sirens swimming underwater is intercut with a shot of a great white shark, so maybe this is just drawing visual comparison between their teeth, but this could also be a Jaws reference as it wouldn't be surprising for the season to draw some inspiration from the 1975 horror blockbuster which also filmed partially in Massachusetts, and who knows, maybe this is further proof that the season may touch on the cold case of the Lady of the Dooms, which also has a connection to Jaws. I did a video about how this Provincetown true crime story could play into season 10, so make sure you guys check that out if you're interested and haven't already. But next, we see a shot of one of these sirens under a frozen body of water. This is in line with the red tide part of this season taking place in the wintertime in Provincetown, Massachusetts. This is all but confirmed, and this teaser is just further proof that it is taking place in winter. The winter season is also referenced in this shot of a snowy road, which looks very Massachusetts, and... It is then contrasted with this sandy desert road, which brings us to part two, Death Valley. The subtitle Death Valley is likely referring to the desert and national park located near the California and Nevada border. This makes sense as Nevada has been a rumored location for the second part of the season. This area also has a lot of notoriety for its UFO sightings, and not too far into Nevada you'll find Area 51. So this subtitle and general location makes perfect sense if part two is going into full-on alien abduction territory. So let's talk about the aliens. 
These guys are the same ones we've seen in two of the posters that have been released for Double Feature so far. But is this what our extraterrestrials will look like in the actual season? Well, I wouldn't assume so. However, given that the sirens featured in the teaser look just like the ones from an officially released still, maybe the teaser aliens are our final design after all. I don't hate how they look, they're very clearly making them look like the classic caricature image of extraterrestrials, and the teaser itself seems to be taking inspiration from the 1947 faked alien autopsy video. Only in the teaser, it's the aliens who are conducting an autopsy of the sirens. Now, I wouldn't hate if these are our aliens, however, I think this design might be a bit too on the nose for AHS, and if this is how our aliens actually end up looking in the season, I may be suspicious that they aren't aliens at all, and instead some sort of hoax, just like the alien autopsy video referenced. It's also worth noting that these aliens look nothing like the aliens from Asylum, however, I don't expect all aliens to look the same, so it's definitely not a problem that they look different. The teaser also features a slide with the words, Two Worlds Collide, which I am hesitant to take as complete confirmation that the two parts of the season will be connected, but come on, they have to be. I mean, there's little doubt in my mind after this teaser that Red Tide and Death Valley will be two stories that are intertwined. I mean, it's de- they're definitely trying to point us in that direction, so I am definitely leaning towards the side that these two parts are connected. The teaser ends with the alien and the siren fighting it out, with the closing shot being a beached alien. We also see the siren biting the alien's neck, which may be a hint that these creatures have some vampiric tendencies as well. Uh, I don't take this duel as a hint that our sirens and our aliens will ever meet in season 10, but rather that forces of both of their respective half-seasons will be connected. I will say, I do think it's very clever to have these two horror creatures, figures, being the figureheads, basically, for the two parts of the season. I think it's very clever marketing campaign they've got going on. But anyway, some other stray visuals that I can't completely make sense of are the black pills, which we've also seen in one of the posters. I'll take these as another reference to the chemist, though. There is also a shot of a deer, and aside from deers being a common motif in horror films, I'm not sure what to make of that. Then there's red light bulbs that appear throughout the teaser. Not sure what all that could mean, but let me know if you guys have any thoughts. And then finally, to me, the most out-of-place shot in the teaser, we've got a meat violin. I just, I just have no idea what this means, and I don't know if it's worth trying to understand. I don't know if it has a meaning, but I'll leave that to you guys if you guys want to dissect the meat violin, which is a sentence I would have never guessed I would be saying. All right, well, there are all of my thoughts and theories for this first teaser of AHS Double Feature. Make sure you tell me all of your thoughts in the comments below, as it is always great to hear from you guys. Give this video a like if you liked it, subscribe for more AHS coverage, and I'll see you next time.